Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clock Master. We're here to talk about The Flash Season 5. Um, and some thoughts and predictions going into uh, The Flash Season 5 um, and things like that. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe for more videos concerning The Flash, DC content, and things like that. Make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be. Now, um, a lot of the stuff I'm about to say, this actually, um, I read a, a great article um, on ScreenRant.com uh, going over some things that I've discussed previously before myself and some uh, other reactions that I've done about uh, uh, about the ending of the flash season four going into the flash season five now if you guys obviously you've seen the flash season four by now i would expect you have um when nora allen this woman here who's confirmed to be nora allen that barry's daughter from the future comes in and says i'm your daughter and I, i've made a big mistake and some things are now messed up um and and things like that so one of the things i've said and actually one uh in in my reaction videos that i think that um, and there's so many videos on this on YouTube, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on this. There's a lot of people I know have made videos about this. But uh, one of my thoughts and my predictions is that Barry Allen initially was supposed to die from that attack on the satellite. And then Iris was already pregnant at that point with um, Nora. Um, obviously, probably with the early stages of pregnancy. Um, she just didn't know yet. And then by the time she's born... Barry's already dead. Nora came back to try to fix things up to make sure her father lives, but in doing that, messes things up. Now, um, this actually brings up some good things, actually, for the future of The Flash. And one of the points that I saw from uh, Screen Rant, again, I'm shouting them out because this is where I read some of this, this information from, um, was that this can actually entirely reboot The Flash. In, in general, the show in general, and 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 we're gonna discuss how that is possible. Now, by Nora Allen coming back and messing things up, messing things up, and essentially making a big mistake, it could be a great thing because we've had a lot of, and and this is something I've discussed so many times. We've had a lot of plot errors and and, and, th and so many narrative issues and so many um uh, consistency errors with the flash season four they've brought up they've brought up some things that they mentioned in the past and then some things they just never brought back something's introduced to us from the future of barry allen's and the flash team's future that somehow never comes up again things like for instance barry giving a warning message to his younger self or the legends being afraid of him not to trust him or savitar or the time remnants or this or, or all of these things gideon everything all of these things that were mentioned about barry's future that was supposedly set in stone has never been mentioned again never been brought up cast aside like it never happened and the beauty about Nora Allen, because the fact that she, which goes off of the theory that Barry was supposed to die in that satellite crash, um, the fact that she came back and messed up things in the past literally could wipe every single thing that ha that was mentioned in the Flash before in the past, like uh, Savitar and the future and Gideon and Eobard and like everything could just be completely completely retconned and just gone but by the same by the main fact that she stepped in and changed the everybody's outcome of the future because i believe personally that barry was not supposed to die in that barry wasn't i mean barry was supposed to die i'm sorry i believe that barry was supposed to die in that accident that barry was not supposed to survive that and that barry um that everyone's future would have been messed up and things would have been turned out a, a different way now the beauty about her um and hopefully we see a lot more of her um going into season five is that the beauty of her being there every day that she's with the team is literally changing their future literally changing everything that can happen that just leaves an open playing field for them to really um to really take something and make something out of the flash and really um get get someone else because we all know that uh um I keep saying it's andrew i drew andrew kreisberg i think i keep forgetting his name and i always forget to to search it up to get the right name um but we know that he left because of the sexual harassment or not left he was fired actually um because of the sexual harassment uh issues that were going on with him and he was the the main guy 
for the Flash. He was the one that was helming the Flash, um, shaping out the Flash. He gave it season one. He gave it season two. But then again, he also gave it season three. So because we had one guy that was working on the Flash, kind of had a vision for the season and had a vision for what he wanted to accomplish with that entire season, this gives us another opportunity to bring somebody else in that can that does that no longer has to work with a lot of the ideas that were implemented by people from season three, season four, and even season two, if you want, because of Nora Allen showing up. That now gives the possibility to just make a whole new history um, and a whole new not history, a whole new future for The Flash and a whole new new outcome for things to happen with the show. And, to- and, and it's, it gives a chance to make things right. And it gives a chance to make things make sense. Um, now, we know things like Wally, for instance, Wally West is, is uh, 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 Keenan Lawn still also stated that he's not going to be a regular on either The Flash or Legends of Tomorrow. So don't expect to see too much of him at all within this season, um, within the next season of The Flash. Um, but they, they, it could give us a, a little bit of an option where we could see a little, um, for instance, if you guys watch Young Justice, there's there's the scenario with Impulse. And there's a scenario where Impulse actually came from the future. Barry's grandson came from the future in a very similar way that Nora did in that episode. Just came back and was like, hey, guess what? I'm your I'm your grandson. What's up, granddad? How are you? And, you know, worked with him and they worked together before. They had conversations before. They did things before. So we, we can expect to see a similar thing here with Barry and his daughter Nora and that's something that could be really good for um for the show now all i need for them to do for the flash now that they could have a possible outlet to really change things up is to simply do the flash justice as far as making him who he is supposed to be don't give unnecessary episodes. Don't give like 23 episodes of nonsense. Don't give like, you know, so many fillers that are unnecessary. And even if you are going to do a filler episode to give a little break from the main story, at least do it in a way that's enjoyable and do it in a way that makes sense and still works with um, the main narrative of the of the plot. Because you just don't want to just be going all over, all over the place and just pushing people around the bush and we're not getting anywhere. And the whole goal is don't don't give him a whole bunch of weak, stupid villains. I'm gonna say the whole villain prediction for another video because um, we, we we definitely need a change and the types of villains that we get, and we definitely need some control over what's happening with with the visions uh, with the the villains on the Flash. So that can be saved for another video. Um, but that's pretty much all I uh, I gotta say with this video, guys. Um, Nora Allen stepping in and possibly um, well is changing Barry's future could really wipe everything that has been set um, for the flash. And I think a clean wipe from, from future references that has been made on the show um, is a good thing for this show. And it's a good thing for everybody else. Who's been dealing with a lot of the, the issues that, that the flash has brought. So anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as you normally do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, I'm always going to share my honest opinion. And just because it, I say this all the time, just because it's my, it, it's my opinion, it doesn't mean I'm, I, I have it all together that, that this is the word of, and this is the law of the land. It's just my opinion. It's just my thoughts on what's going on in my head. And it's what I like or what I don't like. And I tell you this all the time. Like, if you like something, you shouldn't have to defend it to anybody. If you love The Flash Season 4 and for some reason you liked it, that's fine. You liked it, and that's cool with you. I didn't really like it too much, and that's that. Sh- it should be cool with you to be to, to accept that I didn't like it that much either. Um, that's why opinions exist, and that's why everybody has their own brain, so that they they're free to like whatever shows they want to like, whatever movies or music they want to like or dislike. That's 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 what it should be with their own brain. So, anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Clockmaster, out.